Three years ago, Honda gave enthusiasts in America exactly what they wanted with the forbidden fruit in America, the 2017 Civic Type R. And today I'm at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show where they've just unveiled the refreshed Civic Type R for 2020. Let's take a first look. Honda introduced the 10th generation Civic a few years ago. It was a radical change from the disappointing 9th generation model. So just like the rest of the Civic family, the Type R gets pretty subtle changes this year. And really, you're gonna have to squint hard to notice the differences in the front fascia. The most appealing change, obviously, for me is the new color. This particular color replaces a GM Blue Pearl. This is called Boost Blue. It's a Type R exclusive color. And in this light in the showroom floor, it looks phenomenal. Really shows off the lines well. I like how it's a brighter, lighter blue versus the Aegean Blue, and because it's now exclusive to the Type R, um, it makes the color more appealing as opposed to the old Aegean Blue color. Now looking at the front fascia, the one thing you're gonna notice here, Honda has added Honda Sensing as standard equipment to every Type R. So in the windshield, you have the sensor for the Honda Sensing. In the um, emblem here, you have the radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control. The full LED headlights, of course, are gonna be standard on every Type R as well. And then over here, if you look right here on this area, there's this new body colored horizontal uh, area here that kind of breaks up the sea of black plastic that was you know in the previous or the pre-refresh models it also kind of makes the um, front area have a little bit less in terms of those freight fake intakes which is kind of a big complaint with the pre-refreshed type R. Now underneath the hood things have not changed you still have the same two liter turbocharged four cylinder with VTEC that has 306 horsepower which is again uh, some of the best numbers in the segment it's also a really underrated engine but what Honda has changed is the cooling they've made the aerodynamics on this vehicle better and they've said that they've improved the cooling for the track use because if you guys own the pre-refresh model Honda said that a lot of um, owners were complaining that the car was overheating so that was something they addressed with the cooling at the front if the engine breathes a little bit better and you're not going to have this thing overheat on the track for you when you guys are really pushing this thing uh, hard now looking at the side profile you can see things haven't really changed i was expecting honda to refresh the wheels but these are a very good looking wheel design so i can kind of see why they kept the 20 inch wheel design what they did improve are the brakes these are now a two-piece rotor at the front which are a little bit larger. They've also replaced the brake pads with a better high friction pad. So what Honda says is the brakes are more resistant to fade and to heat at the track. So again, that's going to make this thing better at the track, which is really what people do when they buy a Civic Type R. Now they've also updated the suspension. They said that they've updated the rear bushings. They've updated the shocks. So Honda says that this car rides a little bit better. It handles, handles a little bit better. The steering feel has also been improved and they've also uh, improved the shift quality feel. And they said that they've adjusted the final drive ratio, which um, should also improve the acceleration and maybe even uh, the fuel economy of this vehicle a little bit. Now coming around to the back, you can see the styling hasn't changed in America. It looks fantastic in this boost blue. And as you can see, that big wing is still here. Now, of course, there were some spy photos of a Type R that had a low profile wing. However, as you can see here in America, that is not coming. I can't say the same for other markets, so we'll have to wait and see about that. Looking at the rest of the taillight design, you still have the same design taillights. I, I was surprised they didn't add like a full LED design, which again, could have been nice, but I, I know there's a lot of available options in the aftermarket and then of course underneath here you still have some of those fake vents but again it's being broken up by this horizontal piece uh, of body colored plastic which kind of makes it look a little bit better i mean some of you may may disagree with me on that you still have the triple uh, the triple exhaust system which if you guys remember my full review on the type r it's the sound of this vehicle that really should be addressed and i'm sad to see that honda didn't actually address that now i'm not going to show you the interior of this one because as you can see it's very dark tinted honda didn't want us to actually show us the interior but on the inside basically the only changes will be an alcantara steering wheel the shift knob is also a little bit different and you're of course going to have the buttons for the Honda sensing system. Now this new version of the Type R, if you can call it new, uh, goes on sale in the spring and Honda hasn't announced pricing yet on this vehicle. However, the old one or the 2019 model was around $37,000. I'm gonna expect this one to stay right around the same price, which makes the Type R one of the best hot hatch performance bargains here in America. For Redline Reviews here at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sofian Bay.